and welcome to the definitive Windows 98 demonstration. My name is BJ Whalen, my partner in crime here is Mr. Dave Poland, and we're both members of the Windows 98 marketing team. Today we're going to give you an inside look at what Windows 98 can do, and we're also going to compare it head to head versus Windows 95, so you can very clearly see the differences. Now, what I'd like to do is start out with a brief slide of what Windows 98 is all about. Very simply, Windows 98 is the successor to Windows 95 that works better and it plays better. Windows 98 works better because it's easier, it's faster, and it's smarter. Windows 98 plays better because you've got great gaming capabilities, you're going to see that it's an incredible entertainment platform, and ultimately, you're going to be able to do many more things with your PC than you were able to do in the past. Okay, so let's start out with an example of how Windows 98 works better. Great. BJ, a key benefit of Windows 98 is that it's much easier to use than Windows 95 and has much uh, tighter integration with the internet. Windows 95 users will be very excited to know that they'll be able to make a very easy transition over to the Windows 98 user interface, but we've made a lot of enhancements and a lot of very interesting new tricks and tips to allow you to uh, get the most out of the internet and to do a lot of customization on your desktop. BJ, why don't you give us a few examples? Okay, great. Uh, what you see here is the Windows 98 desktop, and I'm going to launch into my computer, and the first thing you notice is that as I hover over a particular icon, like my C drive, immediately off to the left of the screen, it tells me how, mu how big is my overall hard drive and how much free disk space I have left. And you compare that to Windows 95, where in order to get that same information, what you would need to do is, you'd need to know that you need to right click on the C drive and then go into properties to get it. So the bottom line is that with Windows 98, we're making the information more accessible to the user. The other thing you notice is that as I move over to other objects in my computer, we've extended that same type of functionality. So for example, on the printers, it tells me about how I can use that to set up a printer, or in the control panel, it tells me what that's for as well. Let me surf here through my C drive and go into my documents. Now let's take a look what happens when I just hover over a particular file. Say for example, this bitmap. I get a preview image of what that file is. Or for example, if I go to a Word document, same thing. Or a PowerPoint. And so the nice thing is, is there, there are often a lot of times where you have a lot of folders and files in a particular folder, and you may not remember which is which, and this way you can figure out what it is without having to actually open it up, so you can ultimately work more efficiently and productively. Now, why don't we take a look at how Windows 98 also integrates the internet capability cool. uh, with, w with your desktop. So the first thing you notice here is that I'm looking again, as I said, at my local hard drive. But what I can do now is I can actually type in a web address and go directly to the internet. So I'm just going to type in an address for Microsoft.com, and you notice we've got autocomplete. And I'm going to go right to the Windows 98 website. So the nice thing is, is that I can use the very same tool from when I was just looking at the contents of my documents folder, and then immediately I'm looking at the web. And you can compare this to the past, where if you were looking at you know, the contents of your hard drive, users would then back out, launch a separate browser application to get at that same information. So the nice thing here is that with Windows 98, you no longer need to be thinking about, well, what kind of information do I want to find? OK, based on that type of information, what type of tool should I be using? So no matter what, it's much easier to find the information. One other way we've integrated the internet capabilities with the desktop is that I don't even have to launch an application to get the information I want. Right here on this taskbar, I've got what we call the address bar, and I can just type in a web address right from here. So say, for example, I want to go to Yahoo. Immediately, right from the taskbar, I can go to the web. Or I could even type in, say, my documents. And immediately, I'm there. That's very cool. Now, BJ, with Win95, it was a, I was I'm actually able to add things to my start button. And for example, let me give you a quick example. Everyone knows how you can do. You just click on an icon, and you can drag it to your start button, and there it appears on your desktop. However, it's actually quite difficult to otherwise modify the, the start button or to remove icons from the desktop uh, from the start button after you've put it on there in the first place. Is there anything new in Win98 to help that? Yeah, there is. What you'll actually see is that in Windows 98, just about every icon in the Start menu is customizable. So for example, let's go to my Start menu. And let's think about the, uh, the system tools. I often find myself going into the system tools. And the nice thing is that now, I don't like how it's buried down here. I can just drag it. And let's put it right, uh, 
up here. And so there it is. Or, for example, I can go into my documents of recently opened files. And uh, I know this frequently changes depending on the files that I open. But if I know that I always want to be able to open the Windows 98 Monster Demo Fest PowerPoint, I can just drag that right up here. And there it is. So what you see is it's very, very easy to customize your start menu with Windows 98. Very cool. Is it also possible to get, like, you know, single click access to all the my favorite applications? Yeah, it is. Um, you notice here on the bottom left hand corner of the taskbar, you've got this area which we call the quick launch bar. And what it means is that I can drag shortcuts to applications, pop them right on that quick launch bar, and I don't even need to use the start menu to get where I want to go. So, for example, I'll take my favorite productivity application, Flight Simulator, drag it right to that quick launch, and now I can just immediately launch it when I'm in back in my office. Very cool. So, BJ, what we've just shown is that Windows 98 is actually much easier to use because we've really enhanced the customize the customize customizability of the desktop and really integrate made the internet much more tightly integrated. Now, why don't we move on to look at quality? Yeah, why don't we start with that? Um, one of the first things we've done is that we've made it easier for users to help themselves. Um, for example, by updating the help system. Now, Dave, you were talking about in the past, the other day you had a problem printing on Windows 95. Can you explain to me what that problem was about? Absolutely. I have Win95, I bought a printer, I brought it home, and hooked it up to the back of the PC, but I had problems printing. And so I thought maybe help could uh, help me locate the problem and fix it. So I went into help, and I've got quite a bit of information here. Let's go in the index and type in printing. So click on display. And actually not really what I wanted, but I do find a troubleshooter guide. So let's take a look at some troubleshooting information. It says print troubleshooter. We'll say what's wrong. It says my document didn't print at all. Well, that sounds like my problem. Let's take a look. It says try printing a test page. Don't, but I already know that, you know, I already tried to print a page. It doesn't work. So BJ, does Windows 98 actually help me out here? Yeah, it does. Let's first take a look at the, uh, the help system in Windows 98. Y the first thing you notice is that we've got a two-pane view of the help system. So not only can you see the index list of things that you're searching for, but then once you find a topic, you can still see both the list as well as the details on that particular topic. So let's go to the troubleshooting wizard within Windows 98. And now what I want to point out, the difference between Windows 98 and Windows 95 is that we've actually got a very um, detailed uh, and thorough print troubleshooting wizard that will walk you through the steps that you would actually go through if you were to call a support technician at Microsoft on the phone. And they would ask you a series of questions such as, what type of problem are you having? Well, my document didn't print at all. Okay, next. Well, are you printing to a local printer or a network printer? Okay. Well, is your printer set as a default printer? And so what you see is there's a much more thorough set of questions that we ask to really identify the problem. So with Windows 98, we're much smarter about how we can um, diagnose and troubleshoot problems. Now, we all know there are times when the help system simply just doesn't have the information we need, no matter how good we make the help. One of the reasons for that is that once we ship that CD, the help system is burned onto that CD. We can't update it anymore. But after we ship the product and we talk to customers, we learn a whole lot about how to support Windows 98 and also some tips and tricks that we learn after we ship the CD. So it's, in the past, it was difficult to incorporate into the help system. Well, with Windows 98, we've gone a long way to actually deliver that information into the help system by linking you directly to the web. So we've got a button here called Web Help. I click on this button, and what happens is it'll take me directly to the support online site at Microsoft.com. So now I'm on the web, and immediately I'm at the Windows 98 site. And so now I can, for example, find out the latest information on printing. If I click My Search Options, you'll also notice I've got support for nat natural language su search support. So now I'll just say, how do I print? This means that users could just type in you know, the problem as they see it. So exactly. example, like, how do I print? They don't have to worry about being really specific. 